Hello viewer from YouTube, you're about to watch an extract from my Work Faster with InDesign course, which as you would imagine is a course that will get you working faster with InDesign. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you want to watch the whole thing, then you can access it by clicking the link below. In this video, we're going to look at how you can create your own InDesign shortcuts. Now you might be thinking, well, why would I want to do that? There's plenty already. Let me show you the kind of shortcuts I've created and, and why. For me, it's the commands that there aren't shortcuts for, typically that aren't in menus. Things like up here in the links panel, in the drop down menu, relink, edit original. These are shortcuts I've made. Similarly, in paragraph styles, a quick way to create a paragraph style. So let me just show you that works. That's the control key. So control P, if I press that, so let's just put my text cursor in there. Do control P um, straight into creating a new paragraph style. So that doesn't save a ton of time, but commands you find you're doing a lot, particularly from the drop down panel menus, from the, the, the menus that come with the panels, I like that a lot. So that's how it works, but how did I set it up? So as you know, you can go edit keyboard shortcuts. Now this is a set that I've made, but if you were starting off from scratch using the default ones, then you'd have to say new set, you give it a name, I'll just stick with default copy, and then you can add your own shortcuts. You can also get rid of existing shortcuts, which I really wouldn't recommend. But let's say, for example, I want to have a command, let's say from the panel menus, that's where I would normally go to, and then list them all in alphabetical order, so all the different panels. So let's go to, let's say, uh, oh, there's so many, goodness me. Just amuse yourselves for a second. I'll come down to paragraph styles. There we go. Okay, so paragraph styles. So if I was to say new paragraph style, notice down here it says current shortcuts, there aren't any, a new shortcut. And this is where you can create your own. Okay, now here's where it's not terribly fair for PC users, because if you're a PC user, it, you, there's less keys that you can use that aren't already used by the system. So what I suggest you do if you are a PC user, you use a key like the Control key or Control and Shift or something, and then use one of the F keys at the top of the screen. I'm afraid that's about the best advice I can give you. So this is really not fair if you're a PC user. I'm sorry about that. If you're a Mac user, on the other hand, the control key on the bottom left of your keyboard is not very widely used. So I would hold down control and then do something like P for paragraph. And notice this is the important bit. It says this is unassigned. So if I try to do command P, that clearly would be assigned for print. So this still works on a PC. It's just that you'll have to use a slightly less intuitive shortcut. So as I say, you know, so command F1 or whatever. That's fine if you can make a list or something. So there we go. I'll now press assign, that's important, otherwise this won't work. And now notice I've got my shortcut I've made. So when I press save and OK, we can test and see if it works. So if I do control P, there we go. So it's a bit of a process, but if there are commands you're using over and over again and you're getting fed up with it, you want to create a shortcut, edit keyboard shortcuts, on a Mac, use the control key and a useful key, like in this case, P. On a PC, slightly less intuitive, but it still works. So good luck with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see other videos on the same theme, they're in this same playlist. If you want to watch the whole course, you can click on the link below to access that. And of course, if you want to subscribe and like, then that would be great.